Welcome everyone! In this video, we are in the Master Premiere Classic, showcasing some more fun battles featuring... Beware! My goodness, ever since uh, Beware had its community day, and I had the opportunity to try it out in the Open Ultra League, ever since then I've been super excited to give it a try in the Master League format. Uh, most notably, the Master Premiere Classic, which is what we are in today. You know, anything with Shadow Claw, Payback, Superpower is always going to have a lot of very solid play in the Master Premiere Classic. And that is exactly what we have with Beware. It did not disappoint. And uh, this is team number four from my top five best teams for the Master Premiere Classic. And Beware will be closing on this team along with good old reliable Snorlax on the safe swap. With this double normal backline on a classic ABB style team, Snorlax uh, provides a solid backbone to any Master Premier uh, Classic team. Um, it is just so versatile on the safe swap. Body Slam basically gives you universal coverage across the board as there are very few Pokemon that will resist it. Of course, the Steel types will. But uh, between Lick and Body Slam and Superpower, it gives you amazing coverage on the meta. And lest we forget, the immense bulk of Snorlax also giving it excellent play. And also on this team, we've got Florges making its debut in the Master Premier Classic on this channel. We did try it out in the Open Ultra League, uh, and uh, I did have this one that I've been sitting on for a while, just saving it for a rainy day. And as you can see, the IVs aren't the aren't the best, but they're good enough to get you by. And uh, we will be using this floor just until, of course, we find uh, one with better IVs. But for now, these IVs worked just fine. Floor just is an absolute powerhouse in this meta. So obviously on the bad leads, we're going to be swapping in the Snorlax, and I had a blast. This team was amazing. Floor just did not disappoint as well, and here we go. Hopping into a few bonus battles before we get into the featured set. We had a Beware on the lead, so we go into our own Beware as they meet us with a Melodic. So... Very interesting matchup. I really wasn't sure how this matchup would play out, but we are running superpower and we don't want to debuff ourselves. So we're going to go for that big payback that does a huge chunk from a very tanky Pokemon. And uh, in case you were wondering, Beware does get a little bit more bulky in the Master Premier Classic, but not by much. It is still on the squishy side, but my goodness, does it make up for that with its moveset? And um, having the ability to really hit hard in the Master Premier Classic. And we just uh, farm all the way down. We did go down on shields. That's something that you'll really notice uh, with this team in this video. That uh, we definitely will give up shields to preserve switch. Because that is often pivotal in the Master Premier Classic. And we knew that we would get them back, guys. Look at that. We got both of those shields back as they came in with their own beware. Nice shiny beware from the community day. And we are able to get to another superpower after going for back to back. And oh, that still does tons of damage, guys. Holy smokes. And we just couldn't get to that last one. But my goodness, did Beware put in some work. And they come in with, an, with a Metagross. And this is why we've got these two Pokemon in the back behind floor, just on team number four from my top five best teams, guys, for these Metagrosses that are often lurking in the back on most teams. Snorlax can absolutely take out this Metagross even when shields are down because we will outpace to the back-to-back -back superpowers. There goes number one, and we get to number two. This will absolutely be KOing the Metagross even with the debuff. Those licks really do add up, and all they've got left is their poor beware on their end. And they have to throw at some point, and it is looking like lights out. This one's running stomp, but it does not matter. We live one of whatever this beware throws at us uh, long enough to get to a disarming voice, which will absolutely be sending this nice shiny beware packing in the Master Premier Classic. And we say bye bye to the beware. Floor just closing it strong. That's going to be a good game. Well played to our opponent.
Telling you guys, Beware did not disappoint in the Master Premiere Classic. I would highly recommend building one if you have a good one with uh, Master League IVs. It is absolutely well worth it. And here we go. Got a pretty neutral lead in Togekiss. Going to go into Snorlax. Whenever I see a Togekiss lead, I'm, I'm always thinking it could possibly be a Triple Flyer team. And there it is right on cue. Triple Flyer runs uh, Togekiss, Gyarados, and Dragonite. Very powerful powerful team comp and we do draw out the Gyarados running waterfall uh, so we're just gonna look to play this mid-game matchup out here go straight body slam of course and this Gyarados is farming up quite a bit they were definitely at an aqua tail they did throw one extra um, waterfall and they go for the crunch so that leads me to believe that they're running crunch outrage which is actually better for us because we can actually hang in here long enough they're taking more lick damage because crunch does cost more energy than aqua tail and uh we do outpace to these body slams and these licks as you can see guys are really starting to add up on the gyarados gonna go for this next body slam and we grab both shields so now we'll match that shield and look to farm all the way down because knowing that they have a toga kiss we want to control the alignment in this matchup and uh, fully expecting them to come back in with the Togekiss, and they do. If they had come in with another flyer, we would have gone into Beware, of course, but gonna meet this Togekiss with our Florges and look to get off a big Moonblast, guys. Shields are down. Moonblast with Stab from Florges is gonna do loads of damage, and we tank that Flamethrower, no problem. So right about here, I was gonna gauge to see how much damage it did, and it did quite a bit, so I'm making an aggressive play in the beware i was thinking we could withstand those charms long enough to farm down and it's not triple flyer it's metagross that's even better guys because we are running payback on our beware i really wasn't sure how much damage this would do but my goodness it one shots the uh, metagross just like that metagross has vanished from the field and we get to a superpower this will be enough to take out the low health toga kiss and holy smokes guys i'm telling you beware was absolutely worth it it did not disappoint my goodness closing the game strong that's gonna be yet another good game well played my goodness, guys, Beware was coming in so clutch in these battles, just closing out games like you wouldn't believe. Oh my goodness, what a fun, strong pick, I would say, for the Master Premier Classic. And here we go, picking up an amazing lead in Salamance, expecting a catch, so we hold on to our energy. They tried to catch some resisted damage on their Charizard. We were not going to let that happen as we make a play into our Snorlax. Pretty neutral matchup here. Going to shield up the first potential Blast Burn. They did go right for it. Most battlers will go right for those hard-hitting moves on Snorlax. Knowing how bulky it is, a lot of players won't shield. But we do because we want to control the flow of this matchup. I think... That is the key to success in the Master Premier Classic. Controlling alignment, controlling controlling the flow of the battle is absolutely key, more so than um, the other leagues like the Ultra League or Great League. There's just so little margin for error. The, the meta is relatively small compared to the others. You got to control the flow of the match. That's the key to success. We took out the Charizard, trading shields. They come back in with the Salamance, looking to farm down, but they're going to tank a Body Slam on our way out. And of course, we're going to look to come back in with our Florges. We tried to catch them in the middle of an animation, hoping that they throw another Dragon Tail, but they swap immediately, catching that damage onto a Gyarados. So it is beware time, guys. We're even on shields. We know that we can tank one of any move here, so we're going to let this go. Um, it, it can tank one move and they go for the resisted crunch. That is interesting. So maybe they uh, missed out on a community day. Not sure why they would go crunch there, but we take it out with a payback. Holy smokes. Beware hits like a truck and we're not going to make it to another payback. So we are just going to go for the resisted superpower. Of course, Salamance, much like Dragonite is dragon flying, but that does a ton of damage. Holy smokes. Guys, beware hits so hard. It is insane. 
I'm gonna shield this up. Wasn't sure if they were trying to get off a of fire blast because I know Salamence does have access to fire blast and it does hit very hard. That would have done a ton of damage, but it was just the resisted outrage. We go for the disarming voice and we're able to farm down the dragon flying type with floor disc. That's gonna be yet another good game. Well played to our opponent to start things off right with some fun and exciting bonus battles as we move into the featured set of the video here we go the nightmare matchup metagross guys metagross is the nightmare matchup indeed for florges as we make a play into our snorlax of course metagross hard walls florges like you wouldn't believe the uh achilles heel i would say to florges as they look to chip and dip they wanted to get off some damage before making a play into their Gyarados. We did shield that, guys, because, again, the key to success, in my opinion, in the Master Premier Classic is controlling the flow of the matchup. If you know that you can win a matchup, you want to preserve that health and look to play it out. And um, that shield was fine that we spent because we are now even on shields. We did grab one from this Gyarados here. Going to go for another Body Slam. They really do start to add up along with the lick uh lick fast move pressure and um right here i do believe that we let the aqua tail go because we knew that we could tank it long enough to make it to another potential body slam but they throw right away so we're gonna let this go and look to hard farm down with our neutral vine whips guys floor just has some very very nice bulk for the master premier classic it can tank the damage for sure Gonna tank the potential Aqua Tail here and look to farm all the way down. Expecting that Metagross to come back in. We're gonna bank all this loaded energy that we have, of course, and make a play into our Beware. And we will see what they have. They've got a Snorlax of their own in the back. So getting very tricky. This is a bit of a bait game here. They do still have a shield. I'm um, expecting them to go straight for the superpower right off the bat because it makes sense to do that, guys. Even with the debuff, def debuffing their defense, they're still uh, double resisting our fast move pressure. We're going to go for the superpower right off the bat. That does tons of heavy damage to the Snorlax. And fully expecting a superpower here, guys. I was thinking it was lights out, but they go for a body slam, guys. I don't know, maybe they're not running superpower. Maybe they're running a bigger move like Earthquake or Outrage, which you could run, but they let their Snorlax go down. Maybe a mistake. This Metagross does still have a shield. Gonna go for the master massively super effective payback. We do grab that shield, and here we go, guys. It's Florges time. We really wanted to see what Florges was made of. We had loaded energy going for the resisted moon blast. That does a lot of resisted damage. Can we outpace to a disarming voice? And we do, guys. The question is, will this KO the steel type Metagross? And it does. Holy smokes, guys. This is why Florges is a must have in the Master Premier Classic if you have one. That was impressive. Uh, good game. Well played to our opponent. How about Florges coming in clutch in that last match? That was insane, guys. My goodness. So happy to have a Florges for the Master League formats. And here we go. Picking up a pretty neutral lead on Snorlax. As with all classic ABB lines, which we are running, we will want to have to swap out of this at some point. Uh, so we're just going to look to go for a Moonblast. Like I said, most battlers will not shield their very tanky Snorlax. And uh, we're going to tank the Body Slam because we can. They're looking to double up. So we're going to look to catch the next one onto our Snorlax right here. Making the plays in the Master Premier Classic. You'd love to see it. We tank that no problem. And they make a play into a Dragonite. Dragonite does thoroughly beat uh, Snorlax because it does outpace, outpace excuse me, to the Dragon Claws. And we're, we don't really want to shield. We want to remain even on shields here against this Dragonite. So we're just going to chip as much of its health as we can. And then look to come back in with our Florges. 
and uh, really load up on energy here. So I'm going to go for another body slam. They can definitely tank another body slam. And uh, that is wise for them because they want to leave this matchup with as little health as possible. They do take us out with dragon breaths. And we are going to have to throw up a shield because they were farming up for days. They definitely have the energy for a hurricane. There's no reason not to throw it. So we do shield. And we're going to farm up as much as we possibly can without having to tank a double resisted dragon. Dragon Claw because we are getting relatively low and we don't know what else they have in the back. That uh, disarming voice takes out the Dragonite and it's a Metagross. That is, uh, that is rough because that Snorlax is still very healthy. They're trying to catch on to the Snorlax. We held on to our energy. We don't want to debuff ourselves, but uh, superpower would definitely KO. We just don't want to get that debuff, guys. All of our hopes, hope and prayers are riding on our beware. And they are still up two shields. They pressure our last shield with the threat of the KO from the superpower. We farm down, but this Metagross has a move. The question is, does it KO, guys? Beware is pretty squishy, and it does one shot. That's lights out. There is no hope to win this, so we top left, guys. Couldn't quite take that one. That is okay. You definitely cannot win them all. That's going to be a good game. Very well played to our opponent. Guys, I was thoroughly impressed with Beware. It is so good in the Master Premier Classic. It was such a pleasant surprise to see because I really wasn't sure how it would do. But here we go. Uh, Mammoth Swine lead. Another pretty neutral lead. Although we are running Vine Whip, which does do super effective damage to uh, Mammoth Swine. We're not a grass type, so that uh, Powder Snow damage is neutral. We tried to catch an Avalanche on the Snorlax, but they held on. That was a smart move by them, and they meet us with a Togekiss. So pretty um, pretty good matchup for us, guys. We are so bulky that we can withstand these charms with Stab and just spam this Togekiss with Body Slams nonstop. And the Lick Fast Move Pressure really adds up. As you can see, we're getting this Togekiss quite low. Uh, we are going to choose the Shield here and look to load up on energy. We're going to go for... An aggressive hard farm down on this Togekiss. We want to leave here with super loaded energy to really threaten that Mammoth Swine guy is going to bait with a Body Slam first. We do have back-to-back -back superpowers, and they do have to fear the superpower. So they do shield the superpower would absolutely KO. Now we go for the superpower, and I would imagine this grabs that last shield. And we now have a shield advantage as they as we aggressive swap back into our floor. Just we don't want to give this um, mammoth swine any additional farm. Uh, so we go back in the floor just and they do have back to back. We tank the first one because, like I said, floor just has some nice bulk for the master premier classic. But we do have to shield up the second one and they've got an escadrill in the back. And because we aggressive swapped. We are locked into this matchup for a while. So going to go for the hard-hitting Moonblast. That does a lot of, lot of uh, resisted damage to the little squishy mole here in front of us. And uh, this will KO and they take us out. It is beware time, guys. I'm thinking beware can absolutely clean up this game. We can definitely tank a drill run. We definitely cannot tank two, guys. So we got to play this carefully. Going to throw one Shadow Claw just to be that much closer to a superpower if we need it for the Mammoth Swine. This will send the Escadrill packing. Bye-bye, Escadrill. And we are going to look to get to another superpower to take out the Mammoth Swine. And beware. Doing what it does best in the Master Premier Classic. And that is close the game strong. Beware was amazing. That's going to be yet another good game. Well played to our opponent. Guys, if you caught it, good beware with Master League IVs. You might want to give it a try, guys. It's really good. And here we go, picking up a very sol solid lead in Dragon Tail Garchomp. They make a play into an Escadrill. So we go into beware. Um, could definitely go into Snorlax as well. I just wanted to see how uh, Beware would fare up against Escadrill, knowing that it is a um, very heavily used Pokemon in this meta. Really was experimenting a little bit here. So uh, we did tank the first drill run. Um, and going to shield up the second drill run and look to go straight superpower before overloading, maxing out on energy. 
we wanted to have as much energy as possible while doing as much fast mid pressure as possible, but they let it go. Probably expecting a stomp, guys, but no. That is why we run superpower for these overpowered steel types in this meta. They come back in with the guard chop. We go for the payback. That's going to do more raw damage, uh, knowing that we were only going to get the one move. And they've got a metagross in the back. So here we go, guys. It is Snorlax time. And of course, we are at a shield disadvantage. But you're going to see the power of Snorlax here up against Metagross. We just go straight Body Slam. We don't want to debuff our attack guys because we want these licks to do as much super effective damage as possible. And the resisted Body Slams with Stab really start to add up enough to draw a shield from the Steel type. Metagross, you'd love to see it. So the way we're going to play this is shield up uh, the first Meteor Mash. They will make it to another one. We can definitely tank one. Um, and we're just going to look to get off as much of this super effective lick damage as possible. Going to look to go for another body slam and they catch. Very nice catch from them. They know the counts for licks. That is quite impressive and that is okay. Snorlax put in work on that Metagross and we make a play back into our Florges. I don't imagine they shield this. Their Garchomp is kind of dead weight here. But their Metagross is quite low, guys. Yes, they do still have a shield, but we're going to look to pressure that last shield. And they don't want to uh, give up that last shield, so they're going to throw the super effective Meteor Mash. And here we go. The play here is to lick it all the way down. Look at that. Snorlax, old, reliable, coming in clutch yet again, taking out the Metagross. That's going to be yet another good game. Well played. Well, and you guys, team number four from my top five best teams for the Master Premier Classic did not disappoint. It is quite strong in the Master Premier Classic. And here we go. Picking up a Machamp lead. That's an amazing lead. They make a play into a Venusaur. So we come in with our Snorlax. Of course, we want our floor just aligned to that Machamp and uh, going to look to play out this mid-game matchup. We will... Um, Start throwing up some shields to preserve alignment, guys. Again, I uh, cannot say it enough. Uh, controlling the flow of the match, I think, is the key to success in the Master Premier Classic. So we will shield up the second Frenzy Plant and look to get to another Body Slam. Seeing that we shield it, they may want to leave this with a shield advantage and let this go. And they do! That is uh, quite um, okay. We're fine with that. We're going to go down on shields because we know that they have a Machamp. And we know that that Machamp poses very little threat to our floor. Just They were probably surprised to see us go completely down on shields. But you got to do what you got to do, guys, to maintain alignment. That is the key. And they've got a Hydreigon in the back. Shouts to the Spice. My goodness, Hydreigon. It's a very fun pick. Um, and um, sneaky good in this meta, guys. Of course, it is a dark dragon, much like its evolutionary little brother, Zwilus, which we often see in the Great League. Um, and going to go for the super effective uh, superpowers. We did grab those shields. And, of course, we're coming in with beware, guys. Beware. Um, because we don't want it anywhere near that Machamp with our normal typing. And they do uh, aggressively swap back into that Machamp. And uh, they do get to a potential rock slide. We tank that, no problem. Gonna look to vanquish the Machamp with a massively super effective Moonblast. This is absolutely gonna one-shot. And right here, guys, I got super comfortable. I'm thinking, uh, this, we've got this in the bag. We're gonna take out this Dragon type. But no! I completely spaced out on the fact that it can run Flash Cannon and they one-shot. But that is okay, guys. Beware is going to absolutely take out this High Dragon. As we say, bye-bye, High Dragon, with a massively super effective superpower, courtesy of our Beware in the Master Premier Classic. And that is the team, guys. <clears throat> Good game. Well played to our opponent. Shout to, shouts to them for running the High Dragon. That's a very fun pick. Um, but what better way to end off the video with Beware closing it strong, guys. Team number four from my top five best teams for the Master Premier Classic was tons of fun, guys, and very powerful um, at that. Um, this was the team that I was most excited to run um, 
from my top five best teams. And um, if you're unaware, I will be running all, all five teams for this cycle of the Master Premier Classic just to show you guys how to play the teams. Uh, and we were kicking it off with team number four, guys. Like I said, this was the team that I was most excited for. Um, I, I think it might be the, the team that you could have the most fun with, with Beware closing the games out. I had a blast. It runs like a classic ABB line, pretty straightforward. We've got two normal types that can run Ghost fast, move, uh, fast Moves for Metagross, guys. Metagross is the nightmare matchup for Florges. Of course, you got to have solid coverage for it, and we do have that. Um, many times over with our two Pokemon in the back. Beware was amazing. I had a blast, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, I thank you for watching and keep up the grind. Thank you, guys.